Hi everybody and welcome to the channel. This is how I removed the clamshell, the front clamshell from a 2005 Lotus Elise. Please watch and learn from my mistakes so you don't have to repeat them. Here's a tech tip for you. When you're an idiot and you forget to loosen the lug nuts on the wheels before putting the car in the air, drop your tools, get the jack under the tire, and there you go. Hey, we all make mistakes, right? No biggie. Extreme close up. Number three Allen head. Remove this bolt right here. And just kind of wiggle her loose like that. There's a clip that goes under the, uh, the, I guess you'd call it the grill there. And these pegs go in the grommets over here. Next step, same number three Allen head for this guy. I wish I could just hit pause on this camera like you can on your cell phones, you know? Your cell phones are so good these days. But I don't have a good mount for my cell phone, still. I made like five videos, haven't posted a single one, complaining about not having a mount for my phone every single time. At least no one's heard me complain. There it is. Just take it easy. Pull it. This is connected to the others, the grill on the other side. Then repeat. Number three Allen head for all those. Okay. I'm going to see if I can get the dead carcass out without taking the clamshell off first. Although, I'm going to have to clean under it. Oh God, it's so disgusting. This little piece, number three again, millimeters. Alright, next on the list of things to remove, these screws in the inner fender well. 
These are the little plastic jobbers. I don't really like them very much. But they're great for assembling a vehicle. See, they just pop out like that. So there's two there. There's one up top. I don't even know if that's in the frame. Oh no, that's an actual screw. <laughs> Looks the same when it's all dirty. Funny. And then let's see, where else are they? Okay, that's it for that piece. So that slides out. After the uh, front part of the inner wheel fender cover dealy is off, uh, they remo remove the back part. There's a screw there in the front, and there's two in the back. And that's all that I see. You like my free with any purchase uh, Harbor Freight Pittsburgh screwdriver here? It works. Okay, pick them up so you don't lose them. There. Hard to believe but that's that's it, but that's it. So there's something in the frame there. Okay. Alright, and now I will move to the other side. Same thing over here. Just do it without stopping this time. Top one's a screw, and they're all screws technically, right? Was it again? Oh, dear. Here, here. This is not some old 60s American car. If it was, there'd be like 15 7 16 nuts holding the fender wells in. But this was built to add lightness. It's called the Chapman, supposedly said. I wasn't around to hear it, but people have written it down. Okay. With the uh, front inner fender well cover off, you can remove the headlight cover. Use a five millimeter wrench, and there's what three? I don't know what the camera's seeing. I'm too tall. Can't get down that low. So if you're six foot three, you can actually drive a Lotus Elise. 
Let's see, it goes all the way back. Getting in is difficult, but can do it. Yeah, gotta be a little limber. Learn the techniques. Stuck. Pull forward, off. There you go. So here's another little tech tip. Pull the bolts out. Just put them back where they go. So you don't lose them. Especially when you're taking a lot of stuff apart. It becomes really important because days go by, you never know. You're not going to remember everything. And uh, I've been taping the little plastic screws in uh, on the fender wells just to keep them in place where they're supposed to go and aligning everything left to right more or less to where it goes on the car. Focus! Right now we're looking uh, in the door hinge area of the passenger door. There's a bolt right in there. I don't know how to get this thing to focus. Um, that needs to come out for the clamshell to come off. So this doesn't actually have to come out all the way because if you look, there's actually this bracket that it's on is slotted. So all you gotta do, again, I got a real stubby, real stubby combination wrench here. All you gotta do is loosen it a ways. and have uh, apparently super tiny long spider-like fingers or something. Um, loosen it a little bit. That should be loose enough to come off anyway. Um, so when I put it back together I'll be real careful. And on the inside over here I'll reposition the camera. We're still inside the passenger side door hinge area and there's an Allen head in here, number 5 millimeter, that I actually can't see at all from my angle. And that's going to have to come out. What a pain. I actually have a socket head. Things on here, so I'm going to do that. This is not going to be fun to reassemble. I don't think this piece is slotted. It also has spacers in it. There's three spacers behind it. Hopefully I can keep those in place. Let's see if I can tell if it's slotted and it's not slotted. Bummer! I gotta remember it. There's three little spacers in there. loose. Well, that part's loose. About a million more things to go. Repeat the same process on the driver's side door. 10 millimeter on the slotted uh, bracket on the clam. Driver's door hinge area. I mean, that'll come up, but I want to make sure it's good and easy. Nice thing is none of this stuff's like been crazy tight. And then the five millimeter blind Allen head on the top. Everywhere I go around the front of this car, I can just smell. Ugh. I don't even know why I started with the. That one. Here. So this side has only two spacers. I'm not even sure they're the same thickness. Another good thing about doing a video is I can go back and 
listen to myself blabber about what's in here. So if you can see the two spacers. Hey, look, my garage. There's two spaces in there. Hey, it's focusing. Back up top. I'm going to start with these number fives on both sides. Five millimeter Allen head again. I think these will just tape like right next to the body after I clean up some of the dust. And the secret hidden bolts, 10 millimeters studs sticking straight down. They must be through a bracket, obviously. Um, they're right here. Can't see them from the windshield side. Just gotta get them loose, then I can. Sometimes it helps to be long and lanky. Like, you know, I'm getting my entire arm up in the nose of this thing. There's like a foam piece right in here too. This car is 18, it just turned a couple days ago, 18,000 miles. This thing has not been touched. Alright. And then try not to lose the bolt or the washer. The bolt should fall down into the socket. So I'll just keep my hand on the washer. Bring them both out. <sighs> Brake booster. Yeah, there's a foam like right here, a foam block. It feels like it's about an inch thick or something like that. Maybe a little less. It'll be interesting to see if it's been chewed on by rodents. Fortunately, this car sat for a long time and it no longer has its feline uh, security system that it had at its previous owner's house. This would be used as, as a cat bed. Poor car. Never got driven. I talk to some Lotus people and they just say, just drive the, just drive the car. Who cares about keeping it low miles? That's a pretty good philosophy. Cars were meant to be driven, right? So I've had this car two and a half years. Drove it all the way from Florida, so I put 3,000 miles on it then. Had just over 12,000 on it when I picked it up in 2017. So that was 1,000 miles a year at that point. Now, I put 3,000 miles on it on the way home. Almost 3,100 from Florida to California. And... 15,000, so I've driven it another 2,500 miles, something like that, in the, the two and a half years since I've owned it. So, oh, I got this is hurting my back. I don't want to lean on the thing. Real time pain, folks, real time pain. And the ratchet just kicked over to the Titan setting. Car pain every day. Car pain every day around here. So I can get like maybe an eighth of a turn on the ratchet at a time, so it's taking forever. I gotta take a break. Oh god. 
We're now in the passenger uh, inner fender well with the liner removed. There's another 10 millimeter bolt right here. Smack, smack. Again, I can't see because of the contrast. But pretty easy. Not to find a place to actually. Was it a slot? Nope. Alright, forgot to check. Not a slot. So I gotta find a place to store this. I think I'll put it up top. Obviously, I finished those guys. I've taped these bolts down right here. I'll just tape that one next to it. And we'll go to the other side. Now I'm under the front clam of the car. The previous owner did this damage on both sides, isn't that nice? Um, there is a Phillips head screw right there. And then three number eight screws that I'm gonna take out next. Oh, that's interesting, look at that. Phillips head over there isn't on, look at that. It's not on the clamshell like it is this side. I wonder why. Factory screw up? I don't know. Something's misaligned, I guess. Anyway, I don't think this video's gonna show much. I gotta put the camera on the ground. It doesn't want to stay. I'm just hoping it's kind of pointed the right direction. Hey, what's up with that? Is this one of those stupid plastic things again? It is. Dang it. Alright. I'll deal with that in a minute. Let's take these off. I'm sure it's totally out of focus. Stupid camera. I don't know. I'm not looking, so... It is what it is. These three, uh, I'll figure something out to do with them. Maybe I'll put them in a baggie and tape them under here. There's a bolt here underneath the headlights. Um, it's kind of fun taking cars apart for the first time because you find little gems like this. Embellisher lens headlights, date 3305. So I'm guessing 33 is the week. I don't know. It's like a tire, that's the weak, but I don't know. So this is a number five millimeter screw in here on both sides. Oops. Try to move my hand so the camera can see it and end up missing.
these uh, oil cooler lines are attached to the clamshell uh, so I gotta figure out how to undo the clips without breaking them oh there we go cool push on the back one push on the one tab in the rear I noticed on the other side this line is already missing or not missing but it's uh it's not clipped in like it's supposed to be don't know why but this is how it was so I guess that side's already done We're still on the passenger fender well, and uh, there's the clips that go to the uh, headlight. The the harness here, I'm gonna have to take it apart when the clamshell comes off. Um, so I'm actually gonna pry this out, nope, or just pull it out. Disconnect it. So that can ride with the clamshell when I take it off, and the turn signal, uh, looks like I gotta disconnect that, okay, so disconnect that too. There we are. That harness goes into the body or the frame or something. That this is gonna ride. This is gonna ride. We're gonna tuck it over here, and then we'll go do the same on the other side. Driver's side inner fender headlight harness removal. Just easier to get it if I pop it off like that, you know. I'm doing this blind now. Uh. <laughs> Come on. Come on. For some reason, you're not totally ambidextrous. Doing things on one side is easier than on the other. Okay. That's one. So it looks like the headlight, or the blinker turn signal wiring is loose on the other side. Uh, it wasn't, wasn't secured in the body like the uh, headlight harness was. This one is. There we go, not anymore. Order on this one? No. I'm just right-handed. All right. Now I'm gonna walk around and see what else is connected. Oh, there's this wire. It must be security system wire. I don't know what to do with that. I guess I'll just pull it out of the tape. Put new tape on. Can I just snake it through? I can snake it through this way. It's never going to go back in right. Can I expand that tape a little bit. And when everything is off, I'll be able to see. You know, give everything a nice look. Whatever designator was on the shrink tubing. It turns out this little piece that I removed on the other side is actually kind of holds the clamshell in too, so I'll get the 3mm Allen wrench again. Take this out. These must see a decent amount of water because they're kind of corroded. 
hard to turn. Oh man, that's not good. Come on. There we go. It's just the uh, tool slipping. There's a little bit of junk inside. be the longest most boring clamshell removal video but hopefully with all the others combined it does someone some good. Well, I've been kind of gently pulling on it. Uh, as you can see it's loose here. Well, there went some of those spacers and stuff. This side's loose. That's loose. Let's see. There's still some wires that are attached. Over here. Uh, yeah, they are. So they go to, apparently that's a switch. On both sides. Okay. So you know I've never done this before, right? And I'm also by myself. It's not ideal. Slowly, gently. Looks like it's coming. Oh shit. <laughs> Saw something attached down here. Let me put some cardboard on this radiator. So I did a lot of terrible things while filming this video. I actually wish I could have seen myself doing what I'm doing right now from the perspective of the camera because I definitely would have gone, I would have stopped and uh, retrieved a friend Feels to help like me because, tugging mm, on that side. as you can see, I'm putting a lot of stress on my right. right here and it's just, it's just not good. Uh, so I apologize to all the Lotus community for what I'm doing here, but I just didn't know any better because I'd never seen it done before. So, learn from my mistakes, uh, get a friend for sure, and be careful because you know I did put a few stress cracks in here. Thankfully, I didn't break the whole thing apart, um, and I was able to repair it really, real easily. So what I went ahead and did was I. I, I Cleaned the area off where the stress cracks were, and I laid down a few layers of fiberglass loose. just to reinforce the the area with the tiny cracks in it. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah, I think the foundation apart, so it's it should actually be stronger than when I started. It's all taped down. What's actually going on now is I'm looking at the wire that uh, 
the system antenna. Under this phone. And, uh, as you could see earlier in the video, it was just scotch tape, basically like packing tape up to the bottom of the fiberglass shell. And it's got a connector that goes up uh, through the center. And that goes under the foam piece that's like a divider between the radiator and uh, the windshield, I guess. And uh, it's got a single connector there. And you can actually leave the security uh, system antenna in place and just undo the one connection underneath the center of the clamshell and it'll it'll just come off with the shelf when you remove it. I rip the glue off without crushing anything. Not too worried about the radiator, I'm gonna put a new one in. It's like just super rubbery. I'll just cut it. Not the security part, the rubber part. What I'm doing now under the car is removing the security system antenna from the scotch tape that's holding it up underneath the clamshell. And that's completely unnecessary. You don't need to do that uh, because when you disconnect the antenna from the connector that's up in the center area, like near the foam divider, the whole, the antenna that's attached to the clamshell will just come off when the clamshell is removed. So there's no need to undo the tape and all the stuff I'm doing right now. I just didn't know. taped in there and I gotta find a place to put this. Crunched a couple fins. Whoops. Like I said, I'm putting a new one in. So you can do it yourself. Probably not advised. Okay. Now to figure out the wiring and get the dead rat out of there. I'm gonna end the clamshell removal video here. The rest of it is me removing a dead rat carcass that had gotten up under the HVAC system, which I don't think I actually filmed. Uh, and I have, I think I have some video of me putting the clamshell back on, but it's basically, you know, like the Chilton's manuals say, installation is the reverse of removal. So there you go. I hope the video was helpful and please like, subscribe, comment, Unless I disable them, whatever. Enjoy.